Hi, this video is going to cover how to evaluate algebraic expressions with exponents. So the learning goal here is to be able to determine values of expressions that involve exponents using whole numbers, decimals, and fractions. So an, ex an example of an algebraic expression with exponents is this, the volume of a cylinder. Uh, here we have the exponent here. Okay. So uh, when we're using formulas such as this, all we do is we replace these variables with the values that we know. So if we knew the radius and the height, we would substitute in. So the same thing happens if we have an expression that's, you know, that looks different, okay? but it's essentially, you know, the same idea. Here we have uh, variables with exponents. Uh, all we do is we replace the variable with a given value, and then we follow order of operations. So here we're going to determine this, uh, the value of this expression if x is equal to 4. So all we do is we're going to replace these two x's with 4. So it just looks something like this. So 5, instead of writing x now, okay, it's given to me as 4. Um, now don't forget that x is raised to an exponent of 3, so we have to raise that 4 with the exponent of 3. Minus 2, again, instead of writing x, we're going to write 4 and that's raised to an exponent. Okay. Now before we do any type of multiplying or subtracting, okay, according to our order of operations, we have to uh, deal with the exponent first. So 4 to the 3 is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. Um, subtract 2, and then 4 squared is 16. Uh, now, 5 times 64 gives us 320. Uh, 2 times 16 is 32. Okay, and then we subtract those two numbers, we get 288. Okay, so that's how we evaluate an expression. We um, replace the variable with the given value. Let's do another example. Here we have two different variables, but each of those variables is uh, has a value that's given to us. So we're just going to replace the x with negative 3.5, and that uh, is raised to 3. And that value of y is given to us as 2, so we're going to replace that y with a 2, okay? and uh, we're going to raise that to an exponent of 4. So again, before we do any multiplying, we're going to make sure that we evaluate the uh, the powers here. So 9, okay, and this I'm going to need a calculator. So 3.5, make it negative. We're going to raise that to a power of 3. So that's negative 42.875. So negative 42.875. And 2 to the 4, I can do that. That's 2, 4, 8, 16. Okay. Now we're just going to multiply those two, or sorry, those three numbers. So I already have that one on there, times 9, times 16. And I get that, negative 6,174. So again, all we did was replace the variables okay, with the given value and follow bed mass. So we do the exponents first and then multiply out. Uh, here we have an example of um, an expression, but now the values given to us are fractions. Now, uh, one thing that we can do here is that actually we can simplify that first. Okay. Now, we don't have to. We can actually just replace um, x in there in the beginning. Um, but um, uh, one thing that we could do is let's just make that as simple as possible first and then substitute in. Uh, so let's simplify first, here as an example. So um, here, uh, let's do it on the side here. Uh, so 4x squared raised to an exponent of 3. Um, now, uh, each uh, factor here is going to be affected by that exponent 3, right? So this 4 is going to be raised to a 3, and this x squared is also going to be raised to a 3. So 4 raised to a 3, that's 4 times 4 times 4, which is, again, 64. And then x squared raised to a 3, so uh, we get to uh, multiply those exponents, okay, according to power of a power rule. That's x to the 6. All right. So this expression here, 4x squared all raised to a 3, is exactly the same thing as this, 64x to the 6. So now that we have this expression, 
we can substitute in. So 64, instead of writing um, x, I'm going to write 3 uh, uh, over 5. So that's 3 over 5, and that's raised to a 6. Um, now, 64. Now, this is basically 3 over 5 times itself 6 times. So when we're, when we're multiplying fractions, right, the numerators are going to multiply with each other. Denominators are going to multiply with each other. So this 3 is going to be multiplying 6 times. This 5 in the denominator is going to be multiplying by itself 6 times. So we're going to evaluate, in other words, and I'll just do an extra step here, all right. This 3 is going to be raised to a 6. And the 5 on the bottom here is also going to be raised to a 6. Yeah. Uh, so we can just evaluate this. So 3 to the 6, that's going to be huge. 3 to the 6, 729. Okay. And 5 to the 6 here, 5 to the 6 is 15,000. 625. All right, now we're going to multiply 64 with this large fraction. Remember, 64 has an invisible 1 as a denominator, right? So we can just multiply numerators with numerators and denominators with denominators. So 64 times 729 is equal to 46656. 46656. Divided by 15,625. And I don't think you can reduce that. Put a comment in on the video if, you, if it actually does. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Now let's uh, just do another example just in case. Okay, just to be extra clear. So uh, here's our expression. We're going to uh, substitute one half into where the x is. Right? So we're going to write 64. Instead of x, we're going to write 1 half. That's 1 half. And again, raised to the 6. So this 64. Now again, 1 over 2 is just uh, raised to a 6. That's just 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times, right? 6 times. So uh, that 1 is going to be multiplied 6 times, right? So again, that's like 1 to the 6 on the top and on the denominator is 2 to the 6. Okay. Well, 1 to the 6 is pretty simple. Well, that's just 1. Now, 2 to the 6, so we can just calculate that very quickly. 2 to the 6, 64. Okay. All right, well, again, that 64 has an invisible 1 in the denominator, so we can multiply this as 64 times 1, which is 64, well, 1 times 64 is 64. Now, we can reduce this fraction, of course. 64 over 64 is the same thing as 1. Isn't that nice? Okay. So, as you can see, um, when we simplified this expression first, okay, it made things a little bit, uh, quite a bit uh, easier. Because uh, if not, then we would have had to raise an exponent, multiply it, and then raise an exponent again. Uh, that just caused a bit of a headache. Okay? So what I would suggest is simplify first, and I think I write that here. Right? As a success criteria, it may help to simplify the expression uh, before substituting the variable. Uh, when substituting a variable a value into a variable, make sure you wrap it around in a bracket. And uh, of course, bed mass, bed mass, bed mass, super important. Okay. So here we have a couple uh, questions here. Um, determine the value of 3x squared plus 2y cubed okay, if we have uh, certain values here. So why don't you pause the video, uh, try and evaluate those expressions, um, and uh, press play when you're uh, ready. Okay, good luck. All right, let's evaluate this expression. So again, we're going to replace x here with negative 2 and y with 1. So, all right, so 3, instead of x, we're going to write negative 2, okay. and that's squared, um, plus 2, and then instead of writing y, we're going to write the number 1 cubed. Okay. So 3 
Now negative 2 squared, okay, that's just negative 2 times negative 2, which will give you 4. Okay, so that's 4 plus 2. Now 1 to the 3, well that's just 1. Okay. 3 times 4 here gives you 12, plus 2 times 1 gives you 2, and then 12 plus 2 gives 14, of course. Okay. Uh, here, let's do the exact same thing. X now is 4.1, so I'm going to do 4.1 squared plus 2. Now instead of y, y is negative 5, put negative 5 there, cubed. Okay. We do the exponent first, so 3, now 4.1.1 squared, 16.81 plus 2, and then negative 5 to the 3, there we go, is negative 125. Okay, so let's multiply that. So 3 times 16.81, 50.43, oops, and that'll be a negative, I can tell. 2 times negative 125 should get us negative 250 and then now we just subtract those two numbers take away 250 we had negative 199.57 okay hope you got that remember just to simplify uh, the process here we replace the variable okay with the value and follow bit mass that's all it is Here's two more, now we're dealing with fractions. So again, pause the video, give each one a shot, and uh, to check your answer, just press play. Okay. Good luck. Okay, let's evaluate these expressions. Now there's nothing to simplify here. Uh, we can just replace x with three over four. So let's just do that. So five instead of x, we're gonna write three over four, oops, cubed. All right, we can try to do this. Hopefully you can do this in your head. If not, no worries. Um, so this is 3 cubed over 4 cubed. You don't have to write that step if you don't want to, but um, it helps me just to remember what I have to do. So 3 uh, cubed, uh, that's 27. Okay? And 4 cubed is 64. Okay? And uh, now we're going to multiply 5 with 27 over 64. Now, you can write that invisible 1 in the denominator if it helps. 5 times 27, 5 times 27, 135 over 64. Okay, And uh, they shouldn't uh, simplify. All right, now uh, let's replace x with 2, point, uh, 2 over 5. So 5 and then uh, 2 over 5. Uh, raised to an exponent of three, so that's five. Here, let's skip, let's skip that middle step. So that's two to the three, two for eight, five to the three, five twenty-five, a hundred and twenty-five. Um, now, there's an invisible one. So um, five times eight gives you forty over a hundred and twenty-five. Now, I notice that there's a factor of five in each of these, so we can reduce by dividing each uh, the numerator and the denominator by 5. So that really gives us uh, 8 over 25. So just uh, to sum up what we've done, okay, the values of algebraic expressions can be determined if the values of the variables are known. Sub, uh, simplify first or substitute the variable first. What I would suggest that you do is you simplify an expression if you can all the way through and then substitute afterwards. Okay? So simplify first, that's a good tip. And then make sure to always keep bed mass in mind. That's very important. Okay? That might be the number one error uh, in this uh, topic. So just make sure that you have bed mass in mind. All right? So I hope this uh, topic is clear um, and uh, best of luck.